Hi everyone, I am Aditya, Aditya Sauri. So today our topic is passing arguments to functions using pointers or pointers with functions. By using pointers, we can manipulate functions. That is, we can refer the address of function and even we can access function definition through pointers. Actually, in functions, we can pass the values through arguments. But by using pointers, we can pass the addresses by the arguments. So we can access the particular value with the help of addresses. So before discussing this topic with an example, uh, now let us see an example using only functions without using pointers. Now let us see an example of functions. In this example, I didn't use the pointers concept. Okay, so in this example, I created function prototyping because in functions, if we like to pass a value through parameters, we have to create the prototyping. So here function in parameters in comma int is a prototype because I created a few n function. That's why we have to create the prototype also with that same name. So after that I created main function. After that I created two variables a and b. After that I wrote a statement in printf and the values in a and b. After that in scanf I gave two values in a and b. After that I created a function and here this function is called as function declaration and in this function declaration I pass two variables so in each variable two values okay, one value is containing for example if I pass a equal to 10 and b equal to 20 so those values are containing in these particular variables after creating the function declaration it directly goes to function definition and through parameters the value will also pass from declaration to definition so here i created int x comma int y and these parameters are called as dummy parameters and function a comma b so e these are the actual parameters so the data originally contained in a comma b and we are passing these values through the parameters so to handle or to store the particular values we have to create another variables so these are called as dummy variables because when we came out from particular function that means I created values in a and b in main function not in this particular function so whenever it come from outside of this main function it does not recognize the values which is stored in a comma b so that's why we have to pass the parameters to send the values from one function to another function so in main function I created values in a and b so those values I had to send to another function so function definition part so through parameters I am passing those values and here these parameters are called as actual parameters and these parameters are called as dummy parameters so we can create a variable with any name so in main function I created two variables called a and b and here also we can create same name variables or another name variables also so there is no problem at all so after that I gave a print statement so printing the values x comma y so now let us run the program first compilation so zero errors and zero warnings now I would like to run this program so 
enter values in a and b for a i am giving value 10 Okay, now let us clear the previous outputs. CLR, CLR. So for A, I am giving 10 value and for B, I am giving 20. So now let us check the output Alt F5. So same, same values. So I created two variables in main function and each variable I pass each value. So that particular variables and data will be worked in the main function only it does not work outside the function so to work those particular values outside the function i am passing the parameters by creating dummy arguments okay so these values are executed in function definition part not in the main part and this concept is called as call by values also so here I am passing the values through parameters. So that's why this concept is also called as call by value. So now let us do. Okay. So in previous section, we discussed only the functions. And in this example, we are using pointers in functions. So in previous example, we pass the values from one function to another through parameters. So in pointers, we can pass the address of a variable. So in previous example, I pass the value by using parameters. So the value which contained in a particular variable, so we pass it through parameters. So from function declaration to definition part and in this example i am using pointers so in declaration part we can pass the address not the value so that's why i wrote here ampersand a and ampersand b so by using these symbols we can pass the address from declaration part to definition and in definition part I gave pointer variables not normal variables so we already know the pointers definition so the pointer is used to hold the address of an another variable so here X is used to hold the address of A and in A 10 value for example 10 value is containing and in B 20 value is containing so whenever x is used to hold the variable a address of a it returns the value which is stored in a so this thing we already discussed in previous examples so in pointers introduction topic we already discussed how the pointer variable will hold the address of an another variable and how it returns the value which is stored in that particular variable so same concept is happening here so now let us see the output and whenever we are using the pointer concept in prototyping we have to pass the pointers also like this so whenever we passing the values here in comma it is enough but whenever we are using the pointers we have to use pointer symbols so now let us run this program so zero errors so 
so so now here i like to pass okay. i would like to run this program again control so in a i am storing 10 value and in b i am storing 20 value so now let us check the output so same 10 and 20 so here we are passing the address and by using pointers we are getting the data which is stored in that particular variables so for Now let us discuss the another topic array of pointers or pointer with arrays. In C language we can represent an array by using a pointer variable. Name of the variable is always points to the first element of the array. Array of pointer is a set of pointer variable that holds address of simple variable of same type. We already know about arrays and we discussed about arrays in previous classes. Now let us see an example in arrays. So this is the example of array. So what is an array? So array is a concept that is used to store more than one value in a particular variable and the values must be in same type so we cannot store different data types of values in arrays so we can store the same type of values and we can store more than one value in a particular variable so in this example i created two variables one is a and another one is i so here i used a as an array and i gave size 5 so in this particular variable we can store 5 elements and here i used i for looping purpose so another statement printf so enter values in a after that i used for loop because if we store only one value in a particular variable we can directly store that value in the variable by using address that means sample sign but here we are storing more than one value in one variable so generally it is not possible to store more than one value in a single variable so in arrays only it is possible and to store one by one value we have to use for loop here and after that i used scanf because to take the input values in a so that means now let us check the condition i equal to 0 0 less than 5 condition true if the condition is true after that it jumps here so ampersand a of i so what's the value of i so 0 because here i equal to 0 so ampersand we already know it is used to get the address of particular location that means a of 0 so in a of 0 we can store one value after that it jumps here i plus plus so previous value of i is 0 now 1 so 1 less than 5 condition true after that it jumps here and a of one position we can store another value after that i plus plus i value is 2 2 less than 5 condition true after that a of two position we can store another value after that i plus plus i value 3 3 less than 5 condition true a of 3 in a of 3 we can store another value after that i plus plus i value 4 4 less than 5 condition true after that in a of 4 we can store another value after that i plus plus i value 5 that means 
5 less than 5 here the condition is false and it breaks the for loop statement after that it jumps here so in this concept we store 5 values in a variable so how the values is stored we already discussed now only now we have to print those values so same for loop concept i equal to 0 0 less than 5 condition true if the condition is true it jumps here and we are printing a of 0th position value so that means which value we gave in a of 0 that only here print after that i plus plus i value 1 1 less than 5 condition true after that it prints the a of 1's value after that plus plus 2 less than 5 condition true after that it prints the a of second position's value so in this way we can store more than one value and we can print the values of arrays and each value is stored in the index here we created size 5 here the variable is 1 but we are creating the size 5 that means in array 5 indexes will be created and each value will be stored in that particular index so now let us check the output so here I am giving 5 values so the output is same now let us discuss these example using pointers so here I would like to create an another variable pointer variable so that means pointer p after that same concept here we are storing five values using for loop statement after that I am assigning the address of A in P so P equal to ampersand of so here we can store the address of A of 0 A of 1 a of 2, A of 3, A of 5 in P variable. So now I would like to print the pointer P. So now let us check the output. 12, 3, 6, 9, 10, 10. Same output. Now, now let us discuss how it works. So in previous example we already discussed how each value is storing in an array that means i equal to 0 0 less than 5 if condition is true one value will be stored in a of 0 after that i plus plus i become 1 1 less than 5 if the condition is true in a of 1 another value will be stored if i plus okay after that i plus plus i value 2 2 less than 5 if the condition is true in a of second position another value will be stored so here five values will be stored in this process at last condition will be fail after that the processor starts from here i equal to zero zero less than five if the condition is true it jumps here that means i value is zero that means a of zero position address will be assigned to p after that we gave printf statement that means pointer p so we already know that pointer variable is used to hold the address of another variable so we have the value in a of 0 so the particular a of 0 address we assigned to p so by using pointer variable it goes to the a of 0th position with the help of address so after that the value which is stored in a of 0 will be written and prints here 
after that again it will go here i plus plus i value 1 1 less than 5 if the condition is true same steps will be repeated so in this way we can get the values which is stored in array so again i am giving the values So we can see the output here.